Today is the 3rd of April. Yesterday on 2nd of April, as you can see, there is there was a Bitcoin spike. Price spike from 4,100 plus all the way up to 5,107 as of on the Coinbase charts. It did retrace a bit, uh, not much, and this candle alone is probably exceeded 15%. As of today, it is still it seems to be bullish, as we has a as we have a bullish candle here, as of today. So, in this video, we will take the opportunity to discuss what caused this rally, what others are saying, and what is the significance of this rally, as as far as uh, simple TA is concerned. Um, we will also quickly go through some of the Twitter messages that some of the influencers, Bitcoin influencers have on Twitter. And finally, in this video, I would like to take the opportunity to share with you my BC Trader account, which I have been posting regularly on my videos. After all, I have not been posting for the past two weeks, so I'm sure you, if you had been following my videos, you may be... Um, eager to find out how my March results are. So my name is uh, Eugene. For those that are watching this for the very first time, today is the 3rd of April. If you find this topics interesting, please do continue to watch this video till the very end. So today we will be discussing about the Bitcoin spike that we have here on the 2nd of April. It's, it's large as you can see on the Coinbase Bitcoin charts. It's probably close to 15%, probably exceeded 15% and it's been quite a while we had such a large spike because any one day large green candle as you can see anything close to that will be probably on the 17th of july that doesn't even exceed the spike that we saw yesterday and no i don't really see any huge ah, okay i think the last was this this day here on the 5th of january 2018 so it's more than a year back now the why this spike is generally important in this bear market now the first thing is this if you are to look at the volume as as far as positive and negative volumes concerned if you are to count the number of days number of weeks this is the day chart now okay now if we are to switch over to the weekly charts week so i change this to the weekly candles you will also notice that first of all we have one one two three four five six six green candles in a row consecutively six weeks i wouldn't count this current week as a green candle because it's not end of the week yet but if it's the end of the week then that will be the seventh candle now if you are to look back there are no other consecutive six green candles um, the closest probably will be this this will be on the 2nd of April 1 2 3 4 5 weeks and even during the bull cycle in 2017 1 2 3 4 5 so nothing comes close to nothing there was no six candles consecutively six week candles okay so this is the first prominent uh, indicator that maybe the bear market will be ending soon now the other important thing as far as uh, technical analysis is concerned very basic technical analysis 
is that on the if you are to look at the 20 week moving average now this 20 week moving average is a popular indicator that traders would actually look at um, some say no 20 21 is more important some say it's 20 weeks that's more important but I guess it's not really much of a difference between 21 and 20 because if you are to pull both out you'll notice that they are very very close now why this is an important indicator you know besides the 200 moving average daily and the 50 moving average daily is that for this 20 week moving average if you can see it more or less will determine whether we are in the bear and bull cycle okay not 100 percent, but for example if you can see during the bear market there are no candles there were no candles no full green candles that are above this yellow line here okay and if you are to even look at the vice versa if you are to look at the bull market bull market this 20 moving average week moving average seems to be acting support for the bitcoin price okay so by the time it breaks below that then it is a strong indicator that the bear market uh, is coming so as far as the this moving average indicator is concerned from my personal point of view just last week it's very subjective here because um we still have a it seemed to be a week that was fully above the 20 moving average 20 week moving average indicator okay however that may not be a full candle for the other exchanges you know besides coinbase we've got other exchanges so if you look at the charts some of them are actually not a full candle okay so assuming that if we look at other charts then could this week be a full candle where we have the price candle full candle above this 20 week moving average okay now if this week closes if this week closes above above the 20 week moving average then i would generally say that for all exchange charts this is the first week that we have a clean break above the 20 week moving average and it's going to be the first week ever since ever since 22nd of january 2018 okay so this is a significant candle this week so we have to watch out for that now the other now assuming that this is a confirmation then it brings us closer to the fact that we may come closer to a golden cross which i have been explaining for quite a while now so i changed this to a daily chart now the the golden cross on the daily chart would be when the 50 day moving average which is the red line here would cross above the 200 day moving average here the blue line so it it seems to be getting close at the rate that we are going now okay assuming we were to extend the blue line and the red line it will probably merge 
I would say somewhere in Q3. It could be in Q3, it could be in end of uh, Q2. So we'll have to wait and see. So it really depends on how the price action or rather the price would go on for the next few months. Okay. Now, if you ask what's the golden cross, then you can refer to my video, my past video that I talked, uh, that I did talk a bit about the golden cross. That's in the um, video which I made on the price, Bitcoin price prediction that's above $100,000. So you got to check out that video that I have and I've placed the link below in the description and also in the video card, okay, by the side. So um, as far as what others are saying, what caused this Bitcoin spike, uh, seems like a lot of people are are not aware why it is. Some people say, um, some news say that, some news sources say that it is a short, a Bitcoin short that actually collapsed. So I won't go into that. But uh, some say that it could be a April Fool's joke where there has been a joke circulating that uh, the SEC may be approving, just approve the Bitcoin ETF. So, I really doubt that's the case. I don't see any jokes floating around regarding SEC approving any Bitcoin ETF. And even if there was, I really doubt it can cause such a massive candle like that. Okay, like this. So moving on, let's quickly go through some of the... Messages that some of the Twitter influencers, Bitcoin influencers, um, have made. First, we have uh, CZ of Binance that said, Anyone knows any news? I have been asked a few times, but honestly, clueless. Okay, so he's not sure what caused the spike. Uh, next, we have Max Kaiser. So, Max Kaiser is a famous uh, publisher in the US. He is known to have bought Bitcoin when it was uh, below $1. And he has a lot of followers that actually uh, heeded his advice uh, to buy Bitcoin even when it was below $10. So Max Kaiser, who is an economist, says, Bitcoin momentum has shifted bullish as I tweeted a few months ago when the, Fed, when the Federal Reserve indicated they were moving to permanent QE, quantitative easing, BTC, bottomed out and the stage is set for new all-time high okay so bitcoin's all-time high is nineteen thousand dollars plus okay next we have uh, trace mayer trace mayer also had is a famous uh, influencer for bitcoin and he said that that the indicator is flashing that is cheap since it's below 0 0.8 and his uh, indicator probably and the Expensive signal above 2.4 probably is still far away. Okay, so it's it's still cheap as far as he's concerned. Now the he also said that the Bitcoin fundamentals and network effects keep getting stronger. While we have the crypto dog is a famous uh, trader which a lot of people are actually following. Crypto dog says. Normies across the world are waking up to hearing about Bitcoin's pump. Everyone loves a good get-rich-quick story and they are all going to be looking for their own. Okay, and we have Obleano. Bitcoin is back, baby. And finally, we have Tyler Jenks. Tyler is... Um, I've heard of him talk on Tone Vey's um, video. So, Tyler, also a famous trader, says that Bitcoin hit Tone's 5,100 target. Congratulations. Great call. Watch his vlog this morning from Istanbul Airport. Calls top perfectly. No change by bear market views. Okay, but uh, just to let you know, Tone Vase is, is still currently bearish about Bitcoin. So, he's calling for lows of uh, 1,000, 2,000. So let's see where Bitcoin goes after this. Okay, so next we will 
quickly discuss about the Bitcoin trader results. For the past two weeks, I really haven't been uh, vlogging. Uh, that's because I actually went back to JB to help my parents clear up the ancestral barrel. It's actually uh, for us Chinese Malaysians, we have to do that once a year. So it's actually that time of the year where we have to go back uh, to our hometown. So I was back in my hometown JB for the past two weeks. So I didn't have time to prepare for last week's uh, video didn't publish any video last week and also the previous week but anyway for the bc trader um i have results here so as you can see here on uh, the screen my bc trader had been running for the past two weeks and and i have been tabulating the results so for my third week you can see that my capital in Binance grew by another 5.16% and that means that my ROI to date for Bitcoin relative to my initial capital has grown to 11.76% and as for my fourth week um, which is towards the end of March uh, my capital grew to 2.99 bitcoins and this ROI is 5.70 and my overall ROI to date for bitcoin is 17.46% um, I've added two more columns for the BC Trader results I have converted this bitcoin amount to the equivalent US dollar value so the ROI month to date in terms of US dollar which is initially 9,678 going up to 12,223 is the ROI of 26.29% the price this USD value is just basically the capital multiplied by the price of Bitcoin at that that day which I made the tabulation will give you the US dollar so the ROI even though my Bitcoin ROI grew by an astounding 17% uh, the US dollar value uh, actually came up to 26.29% so this is a fantastic results I'm happy with the performance of uh, the BC trader uh, up for the month of March okay so uh, anyway if you are keen to explore more about the BC Trader um, do check out the webinars that I do give on a regular basis it's the link to the meetup sessions is uh, shown in the description below the video and and in the in the meetings that we have, I have for Future of Money 1.0 and also for 3.0. So 1.0 discusses more of the basics of Bitcoin, blockchain, and touch a bit on the mining and also on the BC Trader. Whereas for the FOM 3.0, I will go through the demonstration of how this BC Trader actually will work. Okay, so that's all for this video. I want to make it quick. If um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video on the price Bitcoin surge that we had uh, yesterday and if you have learned something new please do give this video a, a thumbs up if you have any comments please do comment uh, below okay so until then I will catch you in the next video thanks bye Blockchain 360